What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Conquer's Bed for a Day Blind. In the last episode, we... Oh boy, it was a long episode, but we managed to escape from uh, an impending explosion, dodging plenty of lasers along the way, and overall having a not-so-great time, if I recall correctly. It's been a few days, gave myself some time before getting back to this game. What's actually been kind of funny is I had my brother start playing this game. He's been really curious about it as well, and so I've been watching him play through a lot of the game, too. Granted, he's still a couple worlds behind, but I would actually think we're, we're probably nearing the end of the game, right? Like, I don't really know what else there is to expect at this point, right? It's still nighttime, which is interesting. But if we've cleared out that area, we've gone down the river. I can't really think of any unexplored area except that bridge. Maybe we can get across that bridge now? That's always an option. Oh, oh my! What in the world happened over here? Excuse me? The queen bee is just... Oh my goodness! So the queen bee is dead. I don't know... How this happened. The windmill... Oh, that's the... Is that the windmill in the center? Did that fall over? It did! Oh my! And so that whole area got blocked off. Here I am wondering where we're going to go next, not realizing half of the world exploded. Yikes. Well, poor Queen Bee. And her hive, I guess. Um, so, well, we can go through here. I'll avoid the fire. We can still go in this direction if we wanted to. But it's pretty clear the game is leading me up here. Please don't tell me we have to deal with the worms. Please don't tell me we have to deal with the worms. Please, no worms. No worms. I feel like I'm on that game show it's like, no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> Alright, so far, it seems like we're in the clear. How about that sound effect? <laughs> and what are we going to find up here, though? Oh, no. Where did the windmill go? And I was sure that was <laughs> right. oh. I love that self-awareness. Rodents alive? You know I reckon that that suit really worked. I was flying through the air. Next thing is, bam! I saw this thing coming towards me. Kind of like a windmill. Um, doesn't seem to be there. <laughs> well, never mind. At least I'm still here. So, what's happening? Um, I'm not really sure. But, um, the war seems to be over. You might as well go on your way. Give my regards to the guys. Yeah, I will. Catch you later. Catch you later. You can buy me a pack. Okay. Conquer. Can I just say something? Uh, yeah, that depends on <laughs> It was a real privilege working with you. And I would have to say that if ever I need to go on an operation such as that again, I hope that it's... Aww. Very nice of you to say so. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, soldier. Um, this man. <laughs> what a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like complimenting Conger, and Conger's like, oh my god, I can't get him out of my face fast enough. <laughs> and also, it's really funny when people are like, can I just say something? Very few people say, it depends on what it is, right? What are we going to find in here? All right, well, we'll walk on down. There's an area there. Is there anything back here? Probably not. Oh, okay. When are we going to eventually infiltrate that palace? Oh, did this take us to the other side of the bridge? It did. Well, here we are. Oh, and it's this guy. I thought I told you to leave town. But seeing as you're here, anyway. Me have a little job for you. Oh, not another one. Look, can I just go home, please? I said we may have a little job. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Conquer realizes the situation. Wait, isn't that Barry? Like these pants are so uncomfortable. Oh, 
Fancy meeting you here. Oh, Barry. <laughs> you look great. Really? I thought you said you didn't know this guy. Oh, yeah, I know him. He's like my boyfriend. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm her boyfriend. Am I interrupting something here? When you two little lovebirds are finished with your reunion tater t <laughs> maybe we can get on with the job at hand, please? Okay, okay. What do you want us to do? Okay. Since your little escapades with those cavemen kind of put me out of business, now I need to replenish my funds. Here the Feral are. Reserve. The Feral Reserve Bank. Hmm. Okay. But I'll do it on one condition only. What? That I get an outfit that's as cool as her. <laughs> I thought Conqueror was going to be like 10%. Oh my goodness. This is so funny. Conqueror's outfit. That is absolutely hilarious. I'm going to briefly look on the left side. Doesn't seem to be anything. All right, in we go. Oh, can I not hover? Oh, I can't hover. What's my, does my attack change? No, it's still the frying pan. Oh boy, no hover is gonna be rough, guys. It's gonna be rough. But inside the revolving doors we go. Why are we just walking in the front door? He's got the glasses, the bag. He doesn't look suspicious at all. Please place any metallic objects in the tray. <laughs> <laughs> It's always so funny in movies when they do like the cross arm, like shooting in multiple directions at the same time. And of course, Barry's got his back. This is clearly a movie reference that I don't get. Oh my goodness! In this music? Wow. That is some intense music. Very cool though. Alright, can I, okay, I, I still can and will probably need to aim to some extent. It's good to know. Oh, can I crawl? Sorry about that. Um, we are rapidly taking damage, aim, and fire, and I guess I'll need to, uh, Looks like I'll need to get a few shots in in order to actually take him out. So we got that guy. I guess I can um, strafe a little bit, and maybe that'll make my life easier. Doesn't seem to be incredibly helpful, though. Can we talk about how many hits these guys are taking before they're dying? Oh, wait, what? So... I don't know if that was because I'd already taken out the other guys, or is it just that I needed to get close enough to the lasers for that to happen? We'll see, I'll just walk up to him. No. Oh, here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the slow-mo across the screen. <laughs> That's hilarious. This has got to be the Matrix, right? I actually... Don't hate me, guys haven't seen the matrix so I don't get the reference in its entirety I wanted to oh there's the B button I'm trying to reactivate the B button all right well I'll run across we're gonna take damage because for some reason I wasn't able to activate that context sensitive button again same with this one I guess I can take these guys out this way if I, like, just barely hide around the corner. That seemed to be somewhat effective. 
I love this music. The slow mo. <laughs> this is so funny. Going over the lasers. Love it, love it. The real question is why couldn't you do that before? But that's alright. Oh, it's Matrix time. Uh. Why can't I aim? Come on, get close to them. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just didn't have the, the leeway, I guess, to get up there and actually hit them. Come on. Oh, wait, no, it's inverted. That's that's the problem. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh, I don't need the, uh, the what's it called? The light bulbs anymore. You can just hit it, and it'll activate. Why wasn't it before? Huh. Is that person alive or what? I don't know what was going on with them. They seem stuck. Alright, we will slow mo it up again. Come on. Get you and you. And I think we got them all. Nice. Another round or what? <laughs> yes, this is totally the Matrix. <laughs> this is totally the Matrix. The slow mo, the classic. This is like the only thing I do know about the Matrix. From when I was a kid at grade school and people would do the slow mo, you know, bend backwards all the time. That's really funny. Oh, I actually got hit in slow mo. I did not expect that. Can I stand up, please, before I get damaged? Thank you. And I'm gonna need some health soon. I'm running low. Can I get that guy? Nope. I guess not. Oh my! Look at that gruesome death. Our head got shot off. Oh, and I have to start from the beginning again. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. Conquer's Bad Fur Day begins again. So yeah, it's good to know that we don't need to, like, reactivate the light bulb in order to, um... What? I still got hit? There's nothing I can do about that at that point. Alright. Come on. What? Literally, as I was starting the slow-mo... Oh, I can fire a lot more aggressively. That's good to know. Alright, so now Barry should take care of the lasers. That guy is just spinning off into oblivion. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see that. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Alright, we'll move onward to the next. Somebody protect me. Somebody protect me. Don't attack Barry. Yeah, so we're just gonna hold down the trigger and that should make our lives a lot easier. Wait, did we not kill that person? We didn't. What? I swear I got quite a few shots in that area. <laughs> I still can't get over how comical this game is. So funny. Alright, next group of them inbound. So that guy is definitely toast. I don't know if we got the guy over there though. Oh, we definitely didn't get that guy. Come on. Alright, I, I at least appreciate that they allow you to kind of just spam bullets for the most part. <laughs> we won't skip this one. This one... This one's great. I love this cutscene. How great would it be to have, like, sort of a Conqueror's Bad Fur Day movie with all the different cutscenes? I think it'd be so funny. Okay. Next wave. Okay, I think that cleared out a couple of them. Oh man. Barry, you're supposed to be the bait. You gotta, you gotta sponge hits for us, because you don't have a health bar. That's how these games work, right? <laughs> spinning off into the distance. Had enough spinning? Okay, great. Now the next wave.
Let's see if we can get the guy on the left. We didn't get everyone. Oh, we didn't get... There are two guys over there. And they are firing quite rapidly. But I think that should cover it. More? Another round? Yes, no? I don't hear him. There we go. Oh. Another cool slow-mo. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, wow. So there are a lot of them very aggressively firing at us. Alright. So I think that should have taken out that wave. So another, we got another crew. Is the Matrix even about, like, a heist of some sort? I didn't think so. But I don't really know, again. What would I know? I haven't seen the, the movie. Or movies, rather. There are a whole bunch of them. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> Slow-mo kick into the lasers and the music stops that only means one thing we've cleared this little section <laughs> just casually walk into the elevator <laughs> so dramatic hmm. give me a break don't worry, it's in hand, okay? Wow, so we're already at the money, I guess. Yeah, you got one in a million. Speaking of which... <laughs> million? What could possibly go wrong? If this is really the end of it, this is going to be like the shortest level ever. Well, there you go, materialist. Well, you can talk. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> uh, do I That's start? a lot of money. Come here, my little beauties. Some money over here. <laughs> we could actually catch him. That's hilarious. Oh, do I have to hit him? Because I was going to say, I thought I got pretty close. <laughs> okay. We'll go smack some money so that we can collect it. Somebody get me. If you want me to get you, hey, I'm, I'm working on it. You could do me a favor and, you know, sit still. Oh, only three before cutscene? <laughs> Sometime later. Appreciate that. Oh my! A million dollars! Millionaire! <laughs> I'm a millionaire, Barry! Hey, Barry! What are you looking at? Conquer, honey! Oh. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> it is called the Feral Reserve for a reason, right? Who's this guy? Barry? You know who he is? You got me. Yeah. Was he just like watching the whole time? A red squirrel. Gold. Red squirrel. Oh, I think he means me. <laughs> Gold. I don't recognize this guy. Um, what is The fabled. Pencil. Fabled. But he was just in stories like my mom used to tell me to get me to sleep. Looks like he was real after all. The Fairy Panther King. Hmm. Who are you calling a fairy? No. No, as in like furry, as in ephemeral, like a, <laughs> like a legend. You know, yep, like backpedal, backpedal. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Not anymore. Not for you. 
Cause you're gonna die. Weasel. Right here, boss. Ooh, was it a... Yo, it was a big setup. Thanks very much. What are we gonna do with him? You leave him to me. So you're not gonna kill him? Not exactly. Not exactly. Step aside, Conker. I know how to deal with men like this. Hmm. Such loyalty. Misplaced. Get rid of her. Easiest thing in the world. Sorry, dollface. Business. Oh my. Business. Adios. What? What the? Hey, mind we is... Barry? <laughs> what? Barry dies? No! Hey, Barry. Oh no. No problem, boss. Boss? You feeling all right? <coughs> Furball? Bit of uh, indigestion. Where's my milk, Professor? <laughs> professor. The Professor's here! Yes! Oh, my favorite character! How are you feeling? Conker's like, what in the world? I have heard it come. Not sure what's going on here, but I think it's time you make it. I feel you, boss. I feel you. <laughs> What? About complete? Not a moment too soon? Yes. Yes, my leash. Let us kill two birds with one stone. Excuse me? What is happening? I'm so confused. What? An alien? The boss is like, I'm out of here. What is going on? So the mad scientist tries to kill the Panther King, or kills the Panther King by incubating an alien inside of him? Even though he is about to annihilate your scroll, rip your limb from limb, you cannot help but admire his beauty, his power, his poise. He is not a fun of a creature, is he? You're right there, he's not. <laughs> right. I'm f if I'm gonna live in this world and in this castle, so out of debt. I have something known as technology. Take us into orbit. Yeah. What? Now we're going into outer space? The the plot twist in this game, the final boss is basically an alien created by the professor who sabotages the Panther King at the last minute. What? The Zeta of liquid nitrogen mixed with oxygen, two parts petrol? Yeah. I'm never gonna get home now. 
Is that his name? Okay, we're we're playing. I don't really know. I mean, there's obviously a big switch here. So we'll give that a go. And that what? Bye, Panther King. Bye, Throne. <laughs> Excuse me? So we have to hop in this, like, biohazard suit so we don't get, you know, sucked out into outer space while fighting this alien thing. What? Okay. Get away from her, you bitch. Yeah, congress has got to stand up for Barry. No, Barry, no! character is hilarious. Alright. Okay. So we took a pretty hefty amount of damage there. And it takes us forever to stand back up again. I don't see any chocolate around here, so I'm not particularly optimistic about healing. And we died. That tail whip, much more effective than it is in the Pokemon games, does quite a bit of damage and has quite a bit of range. Oh no, not a game over at the very end. So, the the question is going to be can I can I attack him at all or what's going on here? I like can't even move in time to do anything. It's like centering on him. Do I have to try to get around behind him? That's certainly true. So that's the little harbor where the suit came from. Or is it? And <laughs> shut the bloody door. Do I maybe have to, like, bait him closer to the airlock? Maybe that's what I gotta do. Alright. I mean, I'll give it a go. Oh, I can jump. Okay, so I can't seem to attack him like that. Um, let's see. I'll try going into that area over on the left and seeing if there's anything going on. I, I bet I have to just push the... Wait, what is he doing? He's just chilling there? Oh, I can I go in here? No, I can't. Okay, camera... Yeah, I'm sure I need to bring him over here. Looks like I got a little too close myself. So, <laughs> that's good to know. I wonder what happens if you get a game over here. Because there's no, like, Panther King or anything. I guess it's just a black screen. Alright, wow, we have a million cash. <laughs> a million dollars. Okay, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll jump over him. Like that. Hmm. Take a bunch of damage there. Maybe I've got to get him closer. Is there something else I can do with the suit? Warning. What if I... Warning. Am I blocking with this? I am. But it only blocks the sort of head-on attack. Nope, I'm too close. Let's see, anything else I can do with the controls? This? No. That, that, no. That just does that. That blocks. I mean, I'll, I'll try to bait the alien over here. Because at the moment, that's... You coming closer? Oops. 
Get up, Conker. Get up, Conker. No! Either way, I wasn't able to, like, push the alien at any point. So I don't really know... Oh, this is the first time I actually hit him. So that's good to know. So I think what I'm going to try and do is get him to come over this way a little bit more. And then it looks like I'll probably have to hit him into outer space. I think I might have just been too close before. And that was the problem. <laughs> it's kind of funny I didn't hear that first part. But he says... Throw the alien out and shut the bloody door. Which is pretty funny. Oh! So now I have to, So I hit him multiple times. Come on, can I pick him up or what? Yeah, I just like smack him a bunch like that. Can I pick him up? Oh, I pick him up by the tail. No way do they pull a Bowser. Oh my goodness. It's like a reference to Mario 64 and Bowser. That's hilarious. Did I get close enough? Oh, so close. What? Did he just, like, teleport? Gotcha. So, yeah, I think I was just too close before. Alright, so we'll grab his tail again. And spin our control stick just like Bowser. That's actually really funny. Come on. Build up a little bit of speed. Come on. Come on, Conker. I believe in you. Power within. I know Barry works out, but you need to work out too, apparently. What? How did that not... Come on. You're not very good at this. I guess not. I don't know how those attacks didn't hit. Maybe, maybe the alien actually doesn't take damage when he's attacking, you know, himself. But... It's alright. I at least feel like I have an idea of what to do now. So even if a little bit finicky, I think we're making progress. Alright. Oh, and I guess that worked! What? So we'll probably have to do it multiple times. Oh, so he's actually dodging now. Okay. I thought maybe I have to block his attack and then he'll be like stunned or something. Why isn't that? Uh. Okay, I don't know how to get around the, the you know attack avoidance there. And it seems like sometimes I'm able to hit him, sometimes I'm not, but it's alright. Nevertheless, I have a general idea of what to do here. What's kind of interesting is that this time we actually didn't have to do, you know, we didn't have to get too complicated. What? Because we were able to throw him from where we were and you know, have him exit the airlock, so we don't need to, like, you know, do multiple throws to get him close. I guess if we just aim it right. There we go. Alright, so there's the first one. Now he's gonna start dodging our attacks. So the question is... So yeah, once he starts winding up, I don't think I can actually damage him. So, I'm gonna block. Nope. Oh man, I tried to jump in time. Nope. Nope, we're dead. So I couldn't block that like overhead attack or whatever. Um, or it didn't stun him when I did block it. But I didn't really get much feedback on whether or not I, I blocked it. Um, now he does that attack twice in a row. So we're too far there. Let's get a little bit closer. Come on. 
Yeah, we gotta get a little bit more speed. Come on. And now he's not dragging anymore. That was way off. Oh. What? Okay. Now he's gonna attack? I guess so. Am I out of range, I guess? Nope, too late because he already started to attack. I can't even dodge in time. Or block in time. We've only got one bit of chocolate, so I'm not optimistic about us being able to actually, you know, get it on this run, but for the sake of practice, we'll do this. Still too early? I was holding L. Oh, man. The, the delay from, like, taking a step forward to doing any sort of action is it's quite a bit. Nope. I guess wrong. Now he backs up. Okay. Nope. There we go. Wow, he's really close to the door this time. There goes the first one. Round two. Ready? Fight. There we go. So it was that I needed to block that attack. It's just a matter of getting him one to do that attack and, you know, guessing correctly more or less. But. Either way, this looks like it could be our second throw. We'll probably need a third one, knowing this game, but there's number two. Oh man, he's still making it back. Alright. Nope, we're about to get tail whipped. Blocked it. Okay, come on. What? Jump, come on. No. Oh man. He's backing up now. At least that puts him uh, closer. Tail whip. And attack. Nope. Alright, now he's flipping this way. Nope, tail whip. Oh, I missed. Come on. Alright, turn around, camera, please. Tail whip. Is he gonna attack? Tail whip. No, come on. It takes so long. If you try to guard, to exit the guard and then start to jump, it takes forever. <laughs> Conquer this game. I swear, it's like they take every good moment, every funny moment, and attach some gameplay that's just like not fun to it. Let's hope that this is our first throw. And yeah, I'd imagine that third hit is going to be our final hit. Just knowing, you know, the game thus far, everything kind of comes in triplets, right? Alright, there's our first throw. Oh, I was too far. And now we're going to get tail whipped. Come on, tail whip. Alright. There we go. Alright, we're pretty close to the gate, luckily, so hopefully this can be our second throw. And it seems like we'll need to get multiple strings of attacks in for the third round. And he does, he does that jumping attack a lot more, which kind of shifts the camera around. Up, oh, tail whip. Stand up, and tail whip, jump. Alright, hit him. What? I was too far? Tail whip, get closer. Tail whip, jump. Come on. Tail whip, jump. Oh my goodness, Conquer, come on. It's like it's not hard to react to. It's just that every one of Conquer's actions takes so long to complete before you can do the next one that it makes it feel like you have to guess. No. 
Oh. It's just like such a fitting ending to the game. It's having so much fun with the, the Matrix stuff and the slow-mo cutscenes and then the hilarity of the plot twist and the professor and all that. And then it's like, okay, you know, you're one step away from presumably the end of the game, right? Because Barry is dead, the Panther King is dead, the, the Professor is dead, Conquer's a millionaire, there's no way the game continues after this, right? But it's like, you're so close, but nope, you gotta suffer through a little bit more. This is a little bit too fast. We still made it work. Okay, on to the second round. Nope. Get up, Conquer. Alright. Oh, are we close enough? We are. I thought we were too far, but luckily, things are going pretty smoothly. Alright. Oof, I thought I actually missed. That was, that was probably a very borderline throw there. Okay. Alright, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yeah, so I can actually only get two hits in. Oh, he pushed me back. Get close. Alright, I should be able to get a couple hits in. Come on. Can I get the tail? Can I get the tail? I can. This could be it, guys. This could be it. Let's not mess it up. There we go, there we go. Yes, please. All right. What? No, get out of here, alien. Close the door. What? Excuse me, what is going on? something in. <laughs> All right, yeah. Hello. <laughs> what? Right. Here's the plan. I won't tell anyone that the Of course Conquer is going to blackmail them. At that left in the game. If you will say, well, I don't know. Help me out with this guy here. What do you think? Er, okay. <laughs> mm. Now. Uh, get rid of this background. It's really grimy. That's better. Um, weapons, maybe? Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is so surreal. Mm, yeah. Uh, no. A chainsaw? What about, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That should do it. Uh, double action. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Is that a missile uh, of some sort? You guys. A katana. Yeah. Right. Okay. Take me back to say the throne room. Cool. Now, Mr. Alien. Let's see. Okay, let's get in the position. Steady. Just check the shot. There we go. Right. <laughs> On my mark, and not a moment sooner. Three. Two, one, and action. <laughs> this game is so funny. <laughs> oh. oh no, that looks a bit volatile. Well, we'll clean that up later. Well, I suppose that's it. Anything else? Who are these guys? Oh, hello. You again. Frankie. Oh, if it isn't Conker. How you doing, Mr. Screw? You 
you have defeated the evil panther type. Panther type. Yes, sir. We didn't like him either. In fact, there seems to be an empty throne. Mmm. Come on, conquer. Up on to throw here. What? But I... No, you don't understand. I don't really want to be king. I... Oh. Oh, no, I forgot the... I should have brought Barry back to life. Oh, <laughs> Classic oh. conquer. Hello, Procomer. Oh, thank God. What are you doing? Get off. It's okay. It'll be good. And the rest of the guys. Marvelous. Oh, my goodness. This guy? Yeah. I like it in here. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, King. <laughs> king, you couldn't be king of a toilet. <laughs> yeah, you're king of a toilet. <laughs> you don't know how close you are. You realize that? You just do not know. <laughs> <laughs> All the characters from the, the game. Oh, no. Of all the people in the world that I don't like, I'm in a room full of them. <laughs> I've heard the good news. We came back from holiday as soon as we could. Just to celebrate with you on this wonderful, momentous occasion. Didn't we, ladies? There we go. The king is dead. Long Live the king. Yeah, long live the king. Long live the king. <laughs> long live King Conquer, I guess. Will you stop repeating me? I'm not repeating him. Long live the king. <laughs> yeah, long live the king. 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 Conker's so pissed right now. He's like, and I get stuck in a room full of people I hate the most. So, there I am. King. King of all the land. And who would have thought that? <laughs> Not me. I guess you know who these guys are now. Cause I certainly do. I don't want to know them. And yep, I may be king. I have all the money in the world. And all the land. And all that stuff. But you know, I don't really think I want it. I just want to go home. With Barry. And, I don't know, have a bottle of beer. Hmm. <laughs> Not gonna happen. It's true what they say. The grass is always greener. And you don't really know what it is you have until it's gone. 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 Wow. So, Conquer taking an incredible spin for something really deep at the end. Right? Delivered in a very impactful way. Talking about the grass always being greener, you don't know what you have till it's gone, etc. With regards to Barry, his, his everyday life, the comfort of home, you know, deprived of the attention of people you may or may not want to be have paying attention to you, etc. Wow, that was a lot deeper than I expected. And now we're treated to the credits in a little bit of a somber tone, right? This truly was a bad fur day for Conker. Despite all of his, you know, conquests, he was troubled and, and ended up with something that you would think he'd want. All the money in the world, all the power, all the fame, but really lost everything actually important to him along the way. Interesting. So, normally during the credits I talk about my thoughts on the game, though I think I've been pretty clear on my thoughts uh, about the game as I was playing it, especially as, you know, things went on. If I had to describe this game in a few words, it would be funny, but not fun. <laughs> I can't think back on any part of the gameplay of this game that I'd want to go back and play again, or that I really looked forward to playing. 
Um, I think I looked forward more so to every cutscene, every new character, every song, every wacky environment, every bit of voice acting, because those were really where this game shines. It's an incredible creative work in that it must have taken a lot of imagination to come up with the ridiculous scenarios and the the crude and, and clever humor as well the references and you know playing off of a variety of movies and common situations are really what makes this game shine gameplay wise it really is quite lackluster and I mean, I had high expectations as somebody who played Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64, and a little bit of Banjo-Tooie about what the platforming, what the collecting would be like in this game. But this game is not really a collectathon. It has a collectible, but it's solely, I guess, a reward for following the story, right? There are very few, like maybe a couple bits of money that you get from actually exploring out of, you know, the off the beaten path or getting clever with searching a particular area. And none of it do you have to be exceptionally skilled with platforming in order to do. So very rarely is that part of, um, I don't know, part of the gameplay, right? Is It's not about precision platforming. And the controls reflect that. You know, Conqueror does not control very nicely <laughs> with regards to acceleration, deceleration, kind of slipperiness, lack of aerial mobility, um, difficult depth perception, a very low tolerance for fall damage, and kind of lagginess when it comes to attacks and all that. So, but what will it be? Um, scotch. Single malt. Space high. No ice. Huh. A man of taste. Of course he is. He's conquer. Whoa, whoa, that cowboy. <laughs> oh, leave the bottle. Leave the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Looking a bit down. What's the matter? Uh, you wouldn't believe it. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. I'll just drink this. It's not a very uh, productive coping mechanism. Ugh. Doesn't look too good tonight. Back to the usual for a conquer. Another rainy night. Walking out drunk. And then are we taken back to the, the title screen? We are. So I think we got all of the money that was available. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that's the Xbox. Um, so yeah, we go to our game, it's just gonna pick up here, which is a bit of a bummer, it means you can't really go back and do anything, um, but but also kind of emphasizes that, well, this game is not really meant to be a collectible with, you know, collectathon with intense backtracking or whatever it may be. Um, there is multiplayer, which is pretty cool. I haven't looked into that. I don't really have many people to play it with, admittedly. Um, but that's something worth noting that could have been a lot of fun, especially back when, you know, I don't know, you have a bunch of friends over with your N64 and do that. This game looks great in terms of the visuals. I think they do a really good job of taking advantage of the Nintendo 64's aesthetic. And on Rare Replay itself, it looks like a ton of fun. Um, chapters. Oh, chapters. That's that's new. Um, but now also we recognize all these characters, right? I think so many of the characters, the characters, like I said, the characters, their voice acting, the cutscenes are where this game truly shines. The gameplay, I could definitely do without. And honestly, you guys are probably getting a better experience with it watching somebody play and being able to skip ahead than actually playing it yourself. I think the ideal way to experience this game would be to watch somebody who's really familiar with the game and knows exactly what to do in each situation and is, um, you know, relatively comfortable with the mechanics, the controller, etc and who gets through those gameplay aspects pretty quickly so that you can move from cutscene to cutscene. I think part of why I got a little bit frustrated towards the latter half of the game is because the density of cutscenes decreased, right? In that first hour, hour and a half, there's so many funny cutscenes involving the Panther King, the Professor, the duct tape, and every all of the nonsense going on with that. But I think as time goes on, those story-related things kind of drop off. But the ending, in terms of just the plot twist, the hilarity, the how ludicrous it is, I think was one of the better moments, too. Just so funny, an alien emerging from the Panther King and the Professor trying to take over. Absolutely hilarious. So, 
Oh, look at Kazooie back there. That's pretty great. So, hungover, panhandled, gargoyle. Oh, so yeah, so you can go through to each of these chapters. I wonder if this will load a particular, I don't know, um, cutscene? Or if it'll be... Wow, and there's really a lot. Yeah, I wonder if this will be a cutscene or it'll bring you to a particular part of the gameplay. If so, that's very cool. I like that. What happens if we we go to rock solid? What's this going to do? <laughs> so here we are. Okay, and it is so it's it's the gameplay aspect. So you can replay specific aspects of the game again, which is which is actually quite cool. And it seems to have auto-saved however much cash I had at that particular moment too. So um, anyways, what do I have to say about this game? It was very funny. I'm glad I experienced it overall, but I do think that the gameplay aspects of it are not worthwhile, don't hold their weight at all. And this game is remembered as a classic, and it certainly is, and it's one of the most unique games to come out, probably in the history of video gaming, um, or just gaming in general. And for that, it it deserves a lot of recognition. the The music is very good, although really only the main overworld theme, which I've been listening to quite a bit, is is truly memorable. Uh, and so it has a lot going for it in that regard. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, enjoyed watching it more than I did uh, playing it. If you guys have your own experiences with it, let me know in the comments. Because I can also imagine, you know, back in the day when you're playing this as a kid, maybe when a lot of the gameplay nuisances weren't as heavily weighing on you as you're playing it. Because um, I know there are a lot of things that I overlooked in some of the games that I really enjoyed when I was a kid, right? Like Donkey Kong 64, even though it feels good to play as a game, as a collectathon can be a bit of a nightmare. And I wouldn't go back and play it uh, today unless, you know, there are significant changes made to it for quality of life purposes. So maybe if you guys have some really fun, fond memories with this game, do share them in the comments. And I'm also curious to know, what were your favorite parts of the game? What were your favorite worlds, right? I think I really like the spooky worlds theme. I really like the first hour and a half where there was really dense, you know, cutscenes, especially involving the professor, who was probably my favorite character. And I'm curious to see if anybody else, you know, whether it's for a particular movie that's referenced or whatever it may be, you know, really likes one aspect of the game or not. But yeah, I don't really think there's a whole lot more to say about the game. I think it's uh, it's very straightforward, except for the very surprising, relatively deep twist at the end <laughs> um, before the credits. And I don't think there's really much room for a bonus episode or anything, because uh, I don't plan on investigating the multiplayer, and I don't think there's any more cash to get. I could, let's see, can I go back to the rare replay aspect? Um, hmm. I don't know if I can. What happens if I do... Nope, that's not what I want to do. That's also not what I wanted to do. Oh, interesting. So there are different types of multiplayer. That's pretty cool. So maybe, maybe if there's enough interest, I'll do that. But I'm trying to figure out... How can I just go back to Rare Replay? Because I want to show you guys the little overlay that they have. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just exit out of the game and show you guys. Oh, there we go. So that's how, that's how I can do this. Um, so we are going to... Oh, we can look at the milestones? Yes. So these are the milestones I guess you can get in Rare Replay for it. Finish five games of Heist in multiplayer, five games of Beach in multiplayer, five games of Raptor, five games of War, five games of Race, five games of Deathmatch. Um, so we got $2,310 throughout of the game. Over time, complete all of the game's chapters. Okay. So, we, I mean, we got the main story ones. We'll see if I do any of the uh, <laughs> any of the multiplayer stuff. But take a look at this display. I love this aspect of Rare Replay. It's so cool every time I get to see for each game. You know, how do they how do they give off the character of the game? Just right off the bat, with showing off a bunch of different characters, what music they play, what clips they decide to show, how they describe it, and you get a little bit of history. And so, yeah, this is. Um, this is a fun way to kind of end things off, I guess. And so, with all that said, thank you so much to those of you who put up with my pessimism throughout this game and watched all the way to the end for, for love or hate of the different aspects of the game you may share or disagree with. Um, I hope you guys had a good time and are looking forward to whatever it is I play next. 
I'd like to play Banjo-Tooie in the future, as well as plenty of other types of games. Many of you are familiar with my channel, and so I'm sure you're bound to find something you like. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys there. But until the next episode of whatever it is you decide to watch, it's Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.